Imagine a world where the simplicity of Python meets the high-speed performance of C, creating a powerful tool for AI developers. Welcome to the world of Mojo, a new programming language that is about to revolutionize the way we approach AI development. In this video, we'll explore the ins and outs of Mojo, its unique features, and how it is set to democratize AI programming. Before we'll dive deeper into the subject, please give this video emperor's thumbs up, subscribe for more, and toll the bell so you won't miss anything. And don't forget to check the links in the description under the video, where I left a lot of useful resources for you. Let's go. Mojo is claiming to be a revolutionary new programming language designed to democratize access to AI development. It combines the usability of Python with the performance of C, aiming to overcome Python's speed constraints while maintaining its user-friendly syntax and extensive libraries. Mojo is a superset of Python, meaning Python programs are valid Mojo programs, although some Python behaviors haven't yet been implemented. As a result, developers can leverage their existing knowledge of Python while enjoying the performance benefits of Mojo. Mojo is designed with several unique features that set it apart from other programming languages. It is significantly faster than Python, with benchmark tests suggesting it is up to 35,000 times faster. This speed advantage opens up new possibilities for developing high-performance AI-powered web applications. Mojo is also compatible with AI hardware, leveraging multi-level intermediate representation, or MLRR, to scale across various hardware types, including GPUs running CUDA, without adding complexity. This ensures portability across several hardware platforms and specialized accelerators, making it a great choice for applications that need to run on a variety of devices. In addition to speed and compatibility, Mojo introduces new syntax for system-level programming features, chiefly manual memory handling. This allows developers to write Python-like code for casual use cases, then use Mojo for more advanced, performance-intensive programming scenarios. Mojo's syntax is heavily influenced by Python, making it easy for Python developers to transition to the new language. For instance, a Hello World program in Mojo looks exactly like the one in Python. Hello Mojo. Mojo supports let and var declarations, which introduce a new scoped runtime value. Let is used to declare immutable variables, while var is for mutable ones. Mojo also introduces its own struct keyword, which stands in contrast to Python's class. The struct types are more like their C or C++ or Rust counterparts, with fixed layout determined at compile time but optimized for machine native speed. Mojo doesn't abandon the versatility of Python. Developers can import any Python module into their Mojo program and create Python type from Mojo types. This makes Mojo a powerful language combining the performance of C and the vast ecosystem of Python. However, since Mojo is focused on performance, it might not support all dynamic features of Python. There are many opportunities for Mojo developers. Mojo is well suited for developing machine learning applications, analyzing large data sets, performing complex statistical calculations, and developing high performance web applications and games. However, as Mojo is still in the early stages of development, it may face potential inability or missing functionality as the language continues to be refined and expanded. Despite its innovative programming paradigms, Mojo is relatively new and in the early stage of adoption. This means persuading the community to embrace and contribute to its ecosystem might be challenging. However, Mojo's unique features and ease of migration with Python should help it gain acceptance. To facilitate the learning and adoption of Mojo, an interactive platform known as the Mojo Playground has been provided by a company called Modular. As of mid-2023, Mojo is still under development, but developers can experience its functionalities in this playground. This platform allows developers to run Mojo code, providing a hands-on way to understand the language's capabilities and features. Mojo uses types to improve performance and carry out error checking. It also offers control over storage by inline allocating values into structures, providing zero-cost abstractions. This feature enhances the language's performance and makes it easier to identify and correct errors during the development process. Mojo features an ownership and borrower checker, which ensures memory safety without introducing complications. The feature is 
crucial in preventing memory leaks and other memory-related issues that can affect the performance and reliability of applications. In addition, Mojo introduces auto-tuning, a feature that can automatically find the best value for your parameters. This can drastically streamline the programming process and optimize the performance of your application. Mojo includes a built-in tiling optimization tool that effectively caches and reuses data. This tool helps optimize performance by using memory located near each other at a given time and reusing it. This feature is particularly useful in AI and machine learning applications where large amounts of data need to be processed efficiently. Moreover, Mojo introduces inbuilt parallelization, enabling multi-threaded code execution. This feature can increase execution speed up to 2,000 times, making Mojo an excellent choice for high-performance computing tasks. As Mojo is in its early development phase, developers should be prepared for potential instability or missing functionality as the language continues to be refined and expanded. However, the Mojo's team is actively working on improving the language's core, enhancing error handling and improving interoperability with other languages. Despite these challenges, Mojo promises a new era of efficiency and robustness for AI developers. If you liked this video, make sure you'll check this one next. That was V, and I'll see you in a bite.